A former narrative director at PlayStation and former narrative lead at Riot Games, Kim McCaskill has seemingly admitted that video game companies do indeed discriminate based on sex, giving priority priority to women. She also claims that gamers are racists if they oppose Black Lives Matter. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at The Trent Report. This is over at thatparkplace.com. Wrote this up earlier today. And uh, McCaskill, I guess, was brought to public attention when she went after Mark Kern, former World of Warcraft team lead, over the weekend. She has since, I believe, deleted those posts, but uh, did some digging into her. Uh, and back in March 2022, McCaskill responded to a user on X claiming this today. I met someone who thinks there is an advantage to being a woman in the games industry. And McCaskill responded this. Well, there is. Studios are on a push to be seen as inclusive. I won't name the studio, but I was at a studio where they genuinely considered doubling the finder's fee if the hire was female. This was vetoed after some protests, but it does show how by good or bad intentions, some people will always see anyone that isn't a white male as a diversity hire. Interesting uh, that uh, she does admit that they are indeed discriminating, or at least it really appears to me that they are discriminating based on sex, uh, providing a uh, double the finder's fee if the hire was female, although she does say this was uh, vetoed. But uh, clearly they were discussing discussing it. And she also says there is a push to be seen as inclusive. And then she goes on in, in this thread and, and makes some like absolutely bizarre, ridiculous, um, contradictory comments. Because uh, she goes on and says, um, is it the case? Hell no. Games industry is an industry where there is no room for slack or not being good at your job without it being uncovered quickly. Women in their jobs are fantastic, but there will be uh, rippling undercurrents of people being rejected that see the hire and go, oh, well, and it's a bitter stance to take. For example, when I did stand up, I was billed higher than a guy who emailed the club to complain as he believed I was only billed higher because I had because uh, I was a woman. Some people would rather get bitter at diversity and inclusion than consider that they aren't right for the position. And when you've got other people affirming you are right, along with a world history of misogyny and racism, it's easy to see how people will always find it easier to go. You got this job because you are a woman with the comfort of all that hardwiring spanning decades rather than go well done you not only did you get the job you are good at the job even with the added weight of casual brutal sexism in short the person is ignorant but the big takeaway is basically her first post here where she does admit that they are pushing to be seen as inclusive and that uh, they were considering doubling the finder's fee if the hire was female that definitely does to me imply that uh, they were potentially discriminating in their hiring practices, favoring uh, women over men. Not only did she admit that gaming studios are discriminating or seemingly discriminating in hiring practices by prioritizing women, but back in 2020, she implied that if gamers opposed Black Lives Matter, uh, whose founders admitted that they were trained Marxists, uh, if you oppose them, uh, she believes you're a racist. This is what she wrote. Racist gamers boycott PlayStation over BLM move. Racist gamers realize Xbox and other platforms also support BLM. Racist gamers boycott gaming. And then she said, basically, if we could get oxygen to support BLM, we are on to something. Basically implying that uh, if oxygen supported BLM, uh, gamers would boycott oxygen and thus die. Uh, truly sick, deranged, twisted individual who is not only defending um, evil ideologues that profess to be Marxists, but is basically hoping that her enemies die. Truly evil stuff right here. Uh, in September 2021, McCaskill also attempted to mock individuals who oppose race swaps. This is what she wrote on X um, uh, concerning the Arkham games. And uh, she was a, I think, senior writer on the Arkham games from between 2016 to 2019. But she wrote this, a note on Arkham games, Oswald Cobblepot goes from American to British internet. He, he, that's refreshing. Deadshot goes from white to black internet screams. Um, obviously, I'm not going to say that word, but you can see it there. Uh, and then she would go on to respond to a now deleted post that was in response to that post. And she said, so amongst all the white characters still being white, your issue is that the black character is an Asian. So I guess this person wanted um, 
dead shot to be Asian or for some reason. But she goes on and says to digress. I'm a huge advocate of getting more Asian and Polynesian visibility and casting. I'm known for it, but I don't see how making a character black can cause more upset than keeping a character white. So clearly in favor of race swapping. And then in 2020, she also admitted to being a feminist. Uh, I've documented this a number of times on the channel, as well as on that park place that the ideology, that feminist ideology has demonic origins. Not going to get into it here, but uh, this was in response to Bill Burr's opening monologue on Saturday Night Live back in um, October 2020. And she wrote, as a white feminist, I'd have been offended if it actually tried to say something. This is just recycled Burr angles, nothing new. Obviously, just her uh, confirming that she is indeed a feminist. And then if you look at her LinkedIn profile, uh, which is which I'll you can you can find it in the article, which I'll have in the description below. Uh, but it looks like she started her career kind of like back in 2010, around there, uh, working for a number of British TV productions, such as Channel 4 and the BBC. Uh, she transitioned to video games. It looked like in 2016, where she was a senior screenwriter on the Arkham games for Rocksteady. She remained at the company until 2019, where she moved to Playground Games as a senior scriptwriter on the Fable game that is still in development. And then in 2021, she became the narrative lead at Riot Games. Uh, and then she wasn't there very long. Uh, she became a narrative director at PlayStation in November 2022. Uh, but she did post this on X yesterday, uh, saying that she no longer works at PlayStation. She left. She says, going to put, just put this out, put this out there as it's getting cruel for me not to. I left PlayStation not too long ago for another project. Having worked across a few of their games proudly, I'll be updating as soon as we're able. Long and short is I answer to no one. Uh, so that's really interesting. Um, she's saying she left. I'm wondering if there was something else. Maybe she's part of layoffs or something like that or or she was let go. Obviously, it looks like there's more to it. The fact that she's she's saying she'll be updating as soon as we're able. Uh, why can't you update now? Um, her her Twitter bio still says that uh, she works at place. She still is the narrative, a narrative director at PlayStation, but she went on and added this. Uh, I'm absolutely here for anyone who has been affected by this new hate wave, but trust me, it's all just a bunch of balls. I'm not sure what that word means. Probably some kind of British slang for me. This isn't my first rodeo or Scottish slang. Cause I think she's actually from Scotland. This is my first rodeo, not even close to it. And I know I shouldn't laugh, but I do. Nothing else for it. It's been too good a day. So obviously this person has been around video game industry since uh, 2016. An interesting time to join the video game industry. Obviously is a feminist. Obviously is pushing race swapping. Believes that if you oppose Marxist ideology in the name of Black Lives Matter, that you are a racist. Uh, clearly this is someone who should have been gatekept from the video game industry. Clearly someone who is trying to inject um, ideology into the video game industry there's absolutely no way that this person is not pushing her various ideologies into it uh what's interesting though is that she did indeed uh admit that uh these video game companies are uh, are violating uh disc <laughs> discrimination laws uh in their hiring policies uh so i do find that uh is is quite interesting interesting there uh, but let me know what you guys make of kim mccaskill her comments on uh on on these various subjects that we've talked about here obviously i find it absolutely repugnant this person should not be working in video games she should not be doing any kind of narrative she should not be a, being able to taint uh video game narratives uh with obviously the evil ideologies that she promotes and defends but uh, let me know what you guys make of this let me know what you make of her comments let me know in the comments below remember to always be charitable but to always speak the truth